Ohio. What's going on? Yeah, what is going on? Let's start with the known. The pair here still got the two young. Started to feed themselves now a bit. She has laid one egg this morning. It's a dummy egg in there uh, for a second round. So yeah, they're looking good. Um, the five young are all picking up themselves a bit now. So they'll be moving down to the bottom cages soon. Um, the hen has gone back down again. Can't see her in there. She's on, th got three eggs. Um, but uh, I'll tell more about what I'm going to do with them in a minute. Uh, Cockbird still by himself. The hen in here. She's got uh, three chicks hatched, hatched just the other day. So, yeah, three, three in there, which is good. Uh, down here. She's got the two. Won't be long before they'll be out of the nest. So that's quite good. Uh, right. Things that went off here. I don't know if you can see the, the young. Well, what happened here? She uh, came into the bird shed in the morning. She was fast asleep uh, on the perch. Uh, the, the chicks hadn't been fed, they were in the nest. And I thought, oh no, what do we do now? I haven't got a, I haven't got a, another nest to put them in. So I gave, her, I gave her some medicine a couple of times. Hang on, I'll show you what I gave her. Heads. I gave her some of this, which is a natural antibiotic. I give it a couple of times during the day, neat into the beak. But, and she just slept all day. Of course, I've got two chicks there wanting to be, wanting to be fed. But as you know, anyone who has kept birds, once they're, once they're feathered up and their eyes are open, they'd rather die than let you uh, feed them. So I had to make up a baby mix and I, actually had to be force feed them with a syringe uh, which it wasn't nice because I had to actually prise the beaks open but I managed to do that through the day and I managed to get one uh, one good syringe full in before the night and in the morning uh, the hen had recovered and she was feeding so gave her the chicks back of course they they weren't going to stay in the nest then after me handling them and taking them out uh, so no nest they shot shot the nest and they've been out now for around a week she's feeding them all right and she seems a uh, hundred percent better but they're, they're, way, they're way too small really to be out of the out of the nest but if they survive that'll be good uh, what else is going on the eagle-eyed watchers would note it as a a new pair here these are a pair out of uh, well these came from originally from Philip Radin um, they my friend bought them and he had them in his uh, bird shed they had three eggs but they were all infertile and he decided to stick more with his natives and uh, mule in so he was going to get rid of them so I said do you want them so I've pulled them in here hopefully they've been in here about a week now she was uh, she don't seem that keen she has been putting nesting material in a in a water pot when they had them separated I've put them together today and put a, uh, a new nest pan in so we'll see how they go uh, the pair here they were the ones who were in the middle cages well, I'm not expecting anything she sits on the nest all day been doing that for three weeks now Flaps of wings, he feeds her, no sign of any eggs. So I'll give them another week and then they'll, they'll be split up. Um, shan't bother with them this year. But he has got some, the cock bird who's sitting there, he's actually got some chicks with the ones you just actually seen. The heavily variegated bird 
he was with this hen. They've been together since the start of the season. She's the one that threw the eggs out and didn't sit. Been to together now for oh, four, five, six weeks. And she's the same. She was just sitting on the nest, uh, flapping her wings. He was feeding her. No sign of any any eggs. I've never actually seen a mate actually. So this is a scatty hen who was uh, sitting on three eggs, which were all infertile. I did actually see this cockbird mate with her weeks and weeks ago. I put him in, in there just to see what had happened and he did mate with her once. So I th threw these together, it seemed to be scrapping a bit, but hopefully she was a good sitter actually. She sat really well, but I'm gonna leave them together now and see if I can get, I'd like to get something out of this variegated cockbird because he's such a nice bird. It'd be a shame if I don't get any young out of them. Uh, where are we now? Right, that <coughs> cot bird in there, he was back, he's another one who I had back for my friend this week. Uh, it's one of my birds. Uh, I gave it him to, to use, to breed with, but he didn't want to keep it. So uh, this hen who's sitting there was actually with this cot bird, but they did nothing but scrap. Uh, he, didn't, he did mate with her a couple of times, but they, they were fighting like mad, so I put him in that cage out of the way. I put this cock bird in, as I say, it came back from my friend. They were mating non-stop for, for about 15 minutes, as soon as I put him in. Uh, she's laid three eggs. Uh, one of the eggs, there's a gap in between, and then she laid two more. But what I'm going to do, last time she didn't sit the eggs when she when she actually laid them, so I'm going to take, if she lays another egg tomorrow, it will be the fourth, I'll be moving them up to there where the, I know this uh, hen or this pair will, will rear. I'd like to say I'd like to get some uh, young from that pair down there, so I'll put them in with this uh, hen and I'll move the eggs from there into here and then I'm not, if, if, a, if she don't sit or lose them, that's the way it'll be. I've, I've got five five from her up there, so that's fine. But if I can get something from this pairing, uh, it will be nice. Uh, what else we got? Oh, it, that's another one. Uh, don't know what type it is. Anybody shout out, let me know. It's a hen. It came uh, from my friend again, another one of his. Didn't want it. Uh, I were gonna sling it. With, with this cock bird, just see what happens, might still do. It's just sitting in there at the minute. Don't seem that bothered. It's a nice bird. So yeah, uh, I've just uh, cleaned out and opened up the flights down here with the two spare ends in. The young birds will be uh, moving into there pretty soon because I say they are picking up. I should be uh, closed, metal closed ring, ringing the birds. I don't, not close ringing, sorry, I'll be, um, I've got some uh, open rings which I'll, I'll use uh, on the birds. I don't close ring the birds because I don't like to interfere too much. Once you've got young in the nest, I, I prefer to just uh, ring them when they're, when they're ready to move down away from the parents. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing with these. So yeah. <laughs> Lots of things going off, some good, some bad, but still got some young, which is the, the main thing, that's what we're all aiming for. So that's it for this week's uh, video. I'll hopefully talk to you all, well, I'm not too sure about these, she's looking a bit scrappy again, but they might settle down. Anyway, uh, talk to you all next week, thanks for watching, bye.